Latin American style black beans, um, really, really great accompaniment for uh, any type of a grilled item. Um, you'd go great for breakfast with that frittata that we made. I like to put uh, a nice layer of the black beans down um, on the base of a plate and then put a, a shredded romaine or a nice a light vegetable salad and then a piece of grilled fish on top of that with a salsa on top of that is really, really nice. And uh, what we've done today, if kind of, if we're going to do a, a mole style um, where we're going to do chocolate um, Latin American black beans. And um, just by adding the addition of some organic, uh, a high cocoa percentage of chocolate to these black beans, it really gives it a really nice type of a, a light, sweet quality to the beans while still being really savory. So um, what we'll do is we'll saute our vegetables and add the Latin spice blend. And we've already simmered our black beans. <clears throat> you can also use canned black beans if you like. Um, I like to use the dried uh, organic black beans. And I did about a cup of black beans ends up being this amount cooked. So keep that in mind for the pan that you use. And we're going to start by sauteing these vegetables with garlic and adding our Latin American spice blend and uh, deglazing with some balsamic vinegar and cilantro uh, and then finishing simmering into the black beans and season it with a little salt and pepper. And um, let's get started. <clears throat> I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. So we have onions, <clears throat> yellow onion here, we'll go ahead and add carrot, so twice as much vegetables by volume uh, as there are beans. Not that beans are bad, beans are great, but they're a high carbohydrate content item and all these vegetables are full of nutrition, are high nutrient and easy to assimilate as well. My pan gets back up to heat. I'm adding celery. Go ahead and add my red pepper. Whole jalapeno. Everything's been diced, obviously. About a tablespoon of garlic. All right, and I'm going to use about three tablespoons, about a third of a bottle of the Latin spice blend. Going to give it a nice smoky flavor, all the chipotle and toasted cumin and toasted coriander. Going to liven up those vegetables. I don't put any salt or sugar in the spice blend, so it's a good time to just put at least a good pinch of salt for the chemical reaction, flavor in the vegetables encounter with each other. <clears throat> Try and go light on salt for sure and definitely no need to add sugar. We're going to be adding a little bit of balsamic. It's has some sweetness to it and then also we're going to be adding chocolate at the very end once everything gets a little bit tender. And so what I'll do right now is I'll go and chop up some fresh cilantro so that we have that ready to go. cooking down nicely here. I'm going to take about a half a cup. And again, a lot of these recipes, you know, I'm not being too fanatical about the amounts. And uh, it's good for everybody to get an idea of what they enjoy and what they like. So I'm going to let that balsamic vinegar reduce by about half, which will take another about a minute or so. It's simmering quite nicely. And I'm going to go ahead and add the cilantro.
Yeah, another important thing to remember about beans is that when you're simmering in them, you don't salt them until they're completely tender. So I haven't put any salt in these beans at all. These beans are just beans and water that have been simmered. Actually, it took about two and a half, three hours. And you simmer them until they're completely tender. And then I'm going to go ahead and add them to my mix here. And we're going to let this cook out for about 10 or 15 minutes before we add the chocolate. The chocolate is going to be the final step. So we're going to go ahead and finish off these black beans just by adding some chocolate to it. It's going to give it a little bit of a, a sweet quality and of course the cocoa. Just a high quality organic, high cocoa chocolate. It's going to combine nicely with that balsamic vinegar and the spices. It's going to let it melt in there. And once the chocolate is fully melted in, you don't really need it to come back to a simmer at all. And you can see the chocolate quality about it. But a lot, there's not so much chocolate that people will notice right away, but when you mention that there's chocolate in it, then they'll definitely figure it out.